Okay, we are on page eight. Yay, our final page. And we are going to create a door. This is going to be door number 25. So you're going to start by cutting a piece that is six inches long by three and seven eighths inches wide, one piece. Two pieces that are four and one eighth inches wide by six inches long. You are going to get your scoreboard. You are going to be putting the four and one eighth inch side on the top. You're going to score at, let's see if I can see it, half an inch and five eighths of an inch. And then you're going to fold those, both those score marks, and then give them a good creasing too. So I, I use my bone folder and I, I've already done this one. Give it a good creasing. So you're going to be creating this nice little quarter inch gusset. So you're going to do two of those. I've already attached my score tape and I mitered my my um, little flaps here because I do that. You don't have to miter these. So you're going to be doing two of those. Just make sure when you cut and when you do your mitering, you do not cut into that second score mark. Score mark, second one, and then you can miter in. You don't have to do that. So you're going to do two of those. And then you're going to do two of these little flaps three and a half inches in this direction, three and seven eighths inches in this direction. And you're gonna put it in your scoreboard, three and a half inch side facing this here, and you're gonna score it at half an inch. Oops, half an inch. And then you'll fold and burnish those. So that's what you're going to do. Get all those pieces ready. So let me get these all burnished down real well. These two flaps, we're going to start with these two flaps. What you're going to do is you're going to get your base piece, six inches by three and seven eighths inches, and you are going to attach one flap up here and then another flap right here. So these are going to be facing each other. And make sure that they are cut exactly the same. Mine look like they're not cut exactly the same. Let's see, are they? Hmm. Me being who I am, I'm looking at this. Can you even see it's off like by a minuscule amount? It's off by a minuscule amount. I'm just gonna, you don't have to do this, it's just me. I'm gonna just take a teeny little sliver off of here so these, I want them to match up perfectly. I mean, it's just, oh my gosh. Can you even see that? Anyway, that's just me. I'm going to be doing that. Take a little, I'm taking a little sliver off. So then we're going to be attaching those. I'm going to be mitering my corners here and using score tape on the back side oops, to put them in like this. So I'm going to do that off camera because I can see where they're not, see where it's not quite even right there. Can you see that? I know it's it's me. It's all me. I so I'm going to take a little sliver off of this one, and I'll be right back, and I'm going to have these two attached. I just I wanted to show you how much I cut off. That is what I cut off. 
yeah, it's it's bad. I've got I've got some issues, <laughs> but hey, it's just paper, and I enjoy this. So now I have this. So I've got my two flaps. They meet in the center. There's just a little bit of space in between. Um, so that's in. Next, we're going to be applying our doors. So you're going to have one door on this side. Make sure you keep your gusset intact, that you don't, don't go over your gusset. So I'm going to attach this and then do my other side. Oh, I haven't, haven't put my tape or mitered my corners here, so I'm just going to miter my corner right here. Starting at that second score line, right there, there, and now I'm going to apply my tape, and then we're going to put these in on both sides. And I've already checked to make sure these are the exact same height. So. These are good to go, good to go. So I'm going to attach these and I'll be right back. So our door flaps are in. Got our little gussets there. Now make sure when you were putting it in, oops, that your Flaps are even, even here and even down here, so that it's all lined up. Now, I'm actually coming back because I've already done this video for this the door. What um, I forgot was to add the magnets, so I redid this. So while you're watching the other video, I'll try to edit out all my mistakes with the magnets. I forgot to put, who would have thought I forgot to put in magnets? Not me. <laughs> this is a door. It's going to have magnets. I forgot. So, but let me show you the door you're going to be making. Here's the door. So this is the door you're going to be making. It's so cute. So you're going to be cutting out this paper from the, this is the, the 12 by 12 collection. And you're going to be making, cutting out two of these pieces that fit over our, our door flaps, like this. Now, the, the, you're going to be putting a magnet on this side of this door. So go ahead and now, before you put your paper down, because you'll be seeing me putting paper down, you write magnet. So you go, okay, she's putting down the paper, but I need to add my magnet. So you're going to add a magnet here on the back of this front door. Now this door goes on this side, and then you're going to be adding a magnet directly under this one. So somewhere around here. Magnet. So there'll be a magnet here that attaches to here. So now I'm going to have you go back to our regularly scheduled video that I already made on how to decorate this door, but don't forget your magnets. <laughs> okay, so now it's just you're going to have fun and just adding the paper to make your door. And I'm going to come back after I finish the whole thing to show you our little door. So we have our little door with its little flip outs and I marked it top as the right side where we're going to have our little doorknob here. Now we're going to be cutting from this paper. This is from the 12 by 12. So what you're going to do is locate, let's see which one was it? It was, was it this side? it was this side. So you're going 
to go to this top right hand side of the 12 by 12 you're going to flip it over and this is what you're going to be this is the side you're going to be using to cut your first door panel so the way this is going should work or hopefully will work is you are going to place your piece of paper here and this line you see this line right here should be just inside of your black card stock and what I might do is I mean, we're talking about 1 16th of an inch I thought it would be nice to sh have that shown um, just to give it some more dimension so what I might do is tr to make sure I have it is trim off just a sliver down this edge that way when I'm trimming this part I have both of these panels it looks like there's two panels otherwise if you're using this side you are definitely out of the two panels you're just using that one and that might be okay too I mean I'm just trying oh my gosh so frustrating to be me <laughs> do I just want two panels I think I want to see at least two wood lines I'm going to go ahead and try and cut it just to this to the inside of this line and I might need to trim off just a little piece on this end so you do it the way you want if you go you know that doesn't really matter it's does it's and it probably doesn't just trim it and cut it in half because it's going to be about six inches so but I'm going to try to trim it the way my brain is seeing it so I'll be right back once I get my mind trimmed okay so I made my cut <laughs> all that work so this I think it comes out to about three and seven eighths across by five and seven eighths long so my original thought was well here's the door it's going to be opening this direction my original thought was put this line near where the door opens I just wanted that line I just wanted but now that I see it, I'm thinking this actually looks more like a door with a door hinge over here. And have our doorknob here. So I'm actually going to place it in this way, which I think looks really, really good. And then we're going to have our little Christmas wreath decorating way do the decorating our little house our little door tour but so this is the way I'm going to put this in so you know so I wanted to show you our two little panels there there's the first panel that's the first door we're still going to add our our door knob over here here's the second one and now we're going to work on this inside spread. So what you're going to do is go to the 12 by 12 collection and get this piece of paper. And you are going to cut on this left hand side, you're going to cut an inch strip off. Cut an inch strip off, put it aside. And then you are going to measure down from the from the top. You're going to cut this five and seven eighths, five and seven eighths. So cut a 
an inch strip off the side and then measure down five and seven eighths. So this is what you should come up with, this piece. So this is five and seven eighths, so it fits top to bottom here. Now what you're going to be doing is using this piece to cover all three panels. So you're going to mark where you're gonna put panel number one you can't see, <laughs> but there's the, there's the fold line and there's where I'm going to make my mark. And then you're going to go over and make panel number two right here. Jesus, <laughs> stay in frame. You're going to mark panel number two and then you'll finally mark panel number three. So the idea was to have this word a-N-D-A-N-T-I-N-G. I'm sure that's some, some Christmas song. Um, is going to be kind of centered in the middle. That was the whole intent. We'll see if the measurements work out. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my three pieces out. And I'll be right back. So you have all your pieces cut make sure to ink your edges. Make sure to ink your edges. So I'm going to put down this side and this side. Now this side, this one, which has the two flaps, you are going to be cutting this in half. So you will get it centered and then you will find where your cut mark is Let's see, do, do, do. how do we want to do this? Cut it, because you, you want everything to, the picture or this image to stay in frame. So you will find where your flap is. Where, where is that first one? So the first one is right, I can't see. <laughs> There's, I'm gonna cut it right there. So you'll cut your first one, and then with your next one, you will move. You will move that piece that you just that you have left after your cup cut. You will move it down. So you have. Let me. I'll do it for you. I'll show you how to do it. So let me cut my piece, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So we have this middle section. So you're going to. Get that lined up with these two pieces. These two pieces have been affixed in, so they're in. So I put a piece of white paper under here so I can see. And get this middle section lined up with these two pieces of paper. And I put my little tick mark, you can see it down here little tick marks down there. That's where I'm going to cut it. So I'll cut that. I'm not real fast like most people. There we go. So now we have this top piece. And we have the bottom piece. So this bottom piece, you want to put this side that you just cut up right next to this one. So you may do, when you do the trimming, you're gonna do the trimming from down here. Do not trim from up here when you fit it top to bottom. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. You're, you're gonna be, anyway, it's just a visual thing. I like to see it this way. So I'm going to ink these, get them in, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I made a mess of things. <laughs> so besides forgetting about magnets, I should just start every page with, are there magnets? Learn, learn, learn. 
I never learn. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our doorknob, our little doorknob. So easy to do. I cut a little round circle. Um, pay no attention to those little sparkles there. This is a one inch diameter circle. I use a die to do this. Doesn't matter. It's a one inch circle. And then you just cut, cut that circle in half. So there's our half circle. And I actually used black soot to do take out the the core of this um, piece of paper once it was cut. And then I inked it real heavily with that vintage photo to give it more of that kind of, you probably can't tell, it's a coppery vintage look to it. So it looks more like hardware. Now this is going to be backed on, if you have 110 pound cardstock, that's great. If you only have 65, that's fine too. But you're going to back it on there to make it stronger. I like it strong. And once those are together, you're going to affix it on your door. So just kind of play around with where you want it. Usually up from center is good. So then that will be affixed. Then all of you that um, use Graphic 45 probably have their chipboard elements and they always come, they always have these little round circle um, things. This is from Twas the Night Before Christmas. So what I did, here it is. What you're going to do is you just get that, get a black Sharpie and just color that all in. Doesn't have to be neat. Just do, oh, and make sure you, you use your nail file to take out the little, if there's any rough spots around the edges. There usually are. I've already taken mine off. So just go around. I am a mess with this. You just go around. Black, make sure there's no um, chipboard showing. Normally I'd be neater than this, but I'm trying to show you guys what I do. It's just a black, a black dot. And now it's all over my hands. Oh my goodness. Now if that black dot is fine with you, I should wash my hands. <laughs> oh my gosh. If that black dot is fine for you, because you lock like black hardware that would work too let me show you so that's just black and that actually looks nice so if you if you like that that is great and it actually might be better than what i have so what i did is i then got my black and then i just Colored it with some gold Sharpie. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Just going around. And then you just kind of smush it before it dries. So you take most of it off. So you're just left with a little bit of of gold in there and that's that's fine too it just gives it a little bit more texture then what I did which is probably too much I got my Winko Stella and I just put a little bit of Winko Stella on top and smush that around to get that kind of finish you can see that. Where's my camera? Ooh, that kind of finish. So you have a little goldy bronze look to it with a little bit of Winka Stella mixed in. And then I did, 
I did it like three times, so I, I layered it. I layered my gold. Rubbed it off, layered it again. So that's what I did to come up with my piece, which is there. So it's that is my hardware. I've got the bronze hardware going on there. So I'm going to be affixing my my doorknob. Once I get this piece on, I'm going to leave this off. Um, it's not going to be in the center. It's going to be a little bit off. So we can use this little circle bit as an opener. So it's going to be sitting. Get this there. And this will be sitting a little off off a bit, like more like like that. So that's what I'm going to do. And once I get that done, then I can figure out the magnet problem. <laughs> so magnet problem is going to be dealt with. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay. I got my magnet in. I used my trusty friend undo. It's still drying. <laughs> you can see where I used my undo here and here. If you haven't used undo, it's a lifesaver. It's so easy to, to use. It doesn't ruin your paper. It works like a charm. And I think that's why I'm so afraid of using glue. Because I make so many mistakes. And if I use glue, I can't fix it. With undo, I never really worry because I can fix it. So I don't ruin my paper. It's easy to fix. Oh, and I'm sure you guys did this when you were attaching your little, if you did do this little piece. Do the back side, color the back side also. I got a little bit of glue back there. Color the back side also. You don't want naked chickboard. So there's my little, my little bronze doorknob. So next, you're going to cut out from this page. This is the eight by eight. We have these two. I think this is this is this one with the little bow on it because that looks more like a, a holiday wreath. So I cut out this one. I backed it with uh, layers of black cardstock all around to kind of firm it up a little bit. And I'm going to put that about here. And I also cut these out from the doors, from the 12 by 12 doors. I cut out door number two because we had an extra door number two and we had an extra door number five because there's two sheets of each so I just cut out 25 so now we have our 25 that we can put down here for our last our Christmas date not sure where I'm gonna put it I gotta play around with that. Do I want it there? Do I want it more in the middle? I'll play around with it. You you put it where you want it. There's no right or wrong way to put it. That looks nice too. And this door worked out because this little line right here it's kind of in the middle, so it looks balanced. So that is what we're going to do with the wreath. It's popped up, so you can see it's, well, maybe you can't, but it's popped up somewhat. Oops. Put this aside so I don't lose my 25. And with, with this too, like with these, I always ink the edges with my black soot. It just kind of hides my bad fussy cutting. 
And then after you go around with the black, then you get the vintage photo and you do that. So it just gives it a nice edge. So if you can see my edge, I can't, probably can't tell, but it looks, it just looks so much better. It looks nice. So what do we have inside? We have this. I still want to add a little flap here. I'm probably going to be using this um, one inch diameter little circle to put here, but I might add a little something to it. We've got so many options with this collection. You have so many things you can put in there. But for now, I'm just going to leave it, leave it undone till we're kind of decorating. But I'm going to put on my wreath and our door will be done. And then we'll start adhering it to our page. Well, I figured out what to do here. I cut out some stamps. Um, these are all from the 12 by 12 collection. And... They got images on the front and little um, blank spaces on the back. They're all so pretty. I tried them. I cut them all out. It's nice to have them just there so you can, what's it called when you preview them? <laughs> so I, I, I got this piece for the front and I backed this on 110 pound cardstock, heavy duty cardstock. And in between the image and the cardstock, I put a little ribbon so people will know to lift this up. And on the back side of the card, I put one of the the back sides of one of the the images, the stamps. Remember, this has to go upside down. Because when you put this here and then you lift it, it's going to be like that. So it, I had already made my line. So I know where I'm going to, there's my center. I put a center dot, center with the bow, and I'm going to center it there, and I'm going to, that's where I want to put it. That looks good. So all I'm going to do is adhere it to the back side and finish with this part. So this is page eight. So remember, this is our waterfall here. Now I'm opening this up so I can work on this. It's a little flatter without that piece. So what I'm going to be doing is applying this green panel paper. This is from the 12 by 12. You're going to cut it. You know, so it fits here. Now, I wanted to do some blocking because I just thought it was just too green all the way down. So I added this piece, and it is basically five and an eighth. I mean, five and a half, five and five eighths in this direction. So down, and then we're adding this little red strip and this is half an inch. So the half an inch is going to go there. Now, I, hopefully not you, but I've been cutting into this paper and not being mindful of it. So now what I'm going to have to do is get this piece, get this lined up so it matches the lines here, and then I have this piece that I think matches up over here, and then I'll be cutting it. So I'll be getting this all fixed up so it fits in some some manner. But that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, but hopefully you have a, a nice strip that you can just cut a piece from here, cut it, put your red strip in there, and then have that ex that other piece that you cut off to fit right underneath it. But I've been cutting a bunch of these, working on them, 
you should have a whole sheet of, you should have plenty. So hopefully you don't have to do what I'm doing. But if you do, that's the beauty of paper. There's always options and you can always make it work. So I'm going to get this part in some way. I'll get it to work and then I'll be back. Okay, so we I got the paper in. Not perfect, but I don't think anybody will notice. I think this this red gives this page a good break. So now you are going to get your door that you created, your door number 25. Remember this. And this is our little opening tag opening and it says Merry Christmas so cute put that plenty of places for some photos in through here here and can actually put a photo underneath here because this is this is open underneath here too but but it's just cute it's just cute there and there so I put all my score tape back in here. So um, I'm going to be putting this around here. And then you are going to get this little envelope from the 12 by 12 collection. Go ahead and cut it out. And I paste, I, I actually use score tape and put my little envelope together. Make sure that the panels are going up and down in the same direction. So get that. You have your little heart on the top. And then you're going to go to the 12 by 12 collection and you're going to cut out stamps number um, 21, 22, 23, and 24. You're going to round the corners on all of them and ink their edges with vintage photo. Remember, always ink everything. Ink your pages, ink the door, every, you, everything should be inked. So these are going to be in, going into our pocket, our little envelope. Now, same thing. You can put whatever you want behind them. You can put a little journaling spot, or you can put a, a little um, photo of your cutie pie and put those in there. So that's going to go right there. And then you are going to still get your doors. Now, the way I put my doors, I think I have these on. Removable tape. So I cut my doors out. 21, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So you're going to cut. These are from the 8x8 collection. These are the tinier doors. So you're going to cut these little doors out and you're going to put them on a piece of cardstock. Now mine, it may not be your, the same as yours depending on how you cut these little guys out. Mine is three inches by uh, one and three quarters. Looks about one and three quarters. But you you measure yours once you get your your doors. The way I'm going to put the doors is obviously door number 21 goes to the edge. Door number 22 is going to be going up to where it says 21. Like that. And you're going to get these straight so they're lined up top and bottom. And then door number 23 is going to go under door number 22. And you're just going to have the happy holidays showing. So you want the happy holidays to show. And door number 24 is going under 23 
and it will be like that. So I, I have to get these straight. These aren't straight, but so that's how you're going to be aligning them. Um, 21, 22, 23, 24. You just want those numbers to be showing. And then this is going to be going directly under our little envelope right here. But that added a little bit. We're still working with our doors. Uh, it kind of is centered with the envelope. This is going to go over here like that. So basically, you just when you do the envelope, you're leave you're op keeping the envelope open. We're going to fix it with the envelope open. You just want a little space at the top. I mean, a little space about a quarter of an inch, I believe, off to the side, and then this will be just like a, a, a quarter of an inch, um, eighth of an inch or so below. The red line should be running almost midline, midway through those doors. So I just think going right through the doors in the middle is good. And then this is going to be at least a quarter of an inch from the side here and you'll have, and you could play around with where you think you like this. Oh my goodness. So I got the envelope down with our little cards in there. I got the, these doors down. Now I need to put this down. And I was thinking, what do you think? How's that look? Just this little round image. It's, I believe this is from the 12 by 12 collection, one of the cut aparts. And I thought that looked nice. Don't remember how I had it framed. More like that, so the flower was in the center. Like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing for my door. And then we'll be done with page eight. And then it's on to, oh my gosh, it putting these into the, the album and doing our cover pages and inside pages, inside cover pages. <laughs> okay, so that's it for page eight. See you soon.